Kale Art of Sports here with Joshua Franco, headlining Belasco Theater, man, uh, LA Fight Club, February 3rd. Tell me, man, how does it feel, first time headlining a show, big show, tell us about it. I feel great uh, headlining your first show, my first eight-rounder at the Belasco. I'm very excited to put on a great show. You're uh, on TV too, man, headlining, uh, headlining the show on Australia TV. Uh, what kind of nerves kind of go into that are different from like headlining a show on TV as opposed to just kind of maybe a regular fight? Yeah. It's just, I think the only difference is that it's going to be on TV. Also, my first eight rounder. I'm, but, you know, I don't really get nerves. I'm just excited to go go and fight, and I'm anxious to fight already. I want to get in the ring and fight. <laughs> You're coming out of uh, Robert Garcia's gym. Yeah. Uh, they just had a great victory, man, this week at Mikey Garcia. Tell us about that. Man, when I, when I saw that knockout, I was just, I was speechless. But uh, I knew Mikey was going to win either way, the way he looked in the gym. Well, sometimes he spars with good fighters, and he makes them look like average fighters. So, but I knew rather, I knew that Mikey would would come out with the victory either way. Do, do you spar? I feel like you're uh, maybe they. Do you spar with Mikey at all? Or? No, I never spar with him before. Oh, okay. No. I was gonna say, you no. seem kind of small to, yeah, to yeah. spar with. Yeah, him. no, maybe yeah. For speed or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> <laughs> um, Want to ask you? You know, when when the KO happened, you know, it was took a little while for Design to get yeah. up. Kind of, what were your thoughts when that was going on? When I saw him on the floor for that long. I didn't know what to think. I was just like, I was in my head. I was like, "What's wrong with him? Like, why hasn't he woke up? He has, he hasn't moved. The way they, his body, they dragged his body. It looked like he was like almost like, like, yeah, like dead. Yeah, like, yeah. and I was just when he when he got up finally, I was like, oh okay, you know, thank like you know, thank God he's good, you know. Mm-hmm. That was about the shirt right here, man. You got like, this is my uh, little brother. Bam. Oh okay. Yeah, he's making his pro debut March fourth. I think in Mexico City. Oh okay. His first his first pro debut. He's gonna he's gonna be fighting six rounds right away. Oh wow, that's yeah. big. What's his uh, amateur record like? His amateur record, I'm not too sure, but I know he had like about a hundred or more fights. Oh, okay. It's very like Pacquiao style right here, yeah. like his old his style. You know? Yeah, I mean? it's been his name since he was little. He, he just turned 17 January uh, 20th. He's making his pro debut in Mexico soon. What's, uh, what's your nickname? The professor. The professor, why yeah. is that? Tell us about that. I got that nickname from a coach in Oxnard. Um, I walked in the gym when I was first meeting with Robert. And he saw the way I was dressed. I had my glasses on. I had like, a collar shirt. <laughs> like a suit on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he said, uh, what are you doing here? I said, I'm going to talk with Robert. You know, we're talking about boxing. He's like, you're a boxer? I told him, yeah. He's like, you don't look like you're a boxer. Like, you could be a professor. You could teach class. <laughs> That's and awesome, man. And it stuck with me. That's awesome. Well, I'm sure uh, you'll be putting your opponents uh, to school for sure uh, yeah, February for sure. 3rd, yes, man. Yes, sir. That's what I'm looking forward to. Well, excited to watch you fight, man. Congratulations on the main event, man. Thank you for the time. Thank you.